Lugens Dort, or better known simply as Lou, is known as the NBA's most active defender and his rise to fame in the NBA came during the first round of the 2020 NBA playoffs, in which he put on a defensive clinic versus James Harden, earning him the nickname Harden Stopper. Lou Dort this season has improved a lot on offense, showcasing an improved three-point shot, and due to the youth of Oklahoma City, has gotten a lot more attempts at scoring on offense. This has allowed him to showcase his ability to drive and finish, which he has always possessed. However, we will not be talking about this in today's video. We will instead be focusing on his defense, as I believe that Lou Dort showcases exactly how defense is meant to be played. Long gone are the days of defensive slides and your coach yelling at you, don't cross your feet! and in other days of just letting your body do what it does best. Stay tuned as we will be going into detail into how you can apply these techniques into your own game. Let's get into it. The key point on defense is to always try and force the offense to take a bad shot or play outside of their optimal area. A great example being this clip, where Dort's defense is so elite, Donovan is forced to pull from around 30 feet to get his shot off. Although he makes it, this is the ultimate goal on defense. Force players to play outside and off of their spots and make them work for their shot. Something that Dort does really, really well, which is why I think he will be on the first team all defense this season. First, we are going to take a look at individual defense skills. The first being what is known as a hustle slide. A hustle slide is the first slide you take as an offensive player drive. You push off your inside foot. Essentially, if they drive right, you push off your right and vice versa. Your main goal is to hustle back into their space. Note that your goal is not to drop and slide downhill. The goal is, as we are seeing in these clips, is to hustle into their space, create contacts, and preventing them from continuing their drive. You're basically trying to force the offensive player to pick up the ball and kick it, or stop, or change direction. In this first clip, we see Dort guarding Harden on the wing. Harden is doing his usual Harden setup, and on the reach, Harden drives to his left. We see Dort immediately push off his left foot and attack the space where James is driving, taking contact in the chest and being in what is known as the halo stance. The halo stance is this, where your arms are out and you basically look like an angel and have a halo on your head. Basically saying, hey ref, look, I've got no hands on him, therefore there's no foul, right? The halo stance is the key to this. You are trying to stop the offensive player with your chest, so if they initiate contact, it would be an offensive foul. In pick and roll, the offensive player can either use the screen or deny it. The key on defense is we always want to know exactly what the offensive player is going to do. Here we see Dort move slightly above the level of the screen, baiting James into denying it. Because he knows James has to deny, he is able to use the hustle slide, forcing James to stop and change direction, in which case he performs another hustle slide, pushing off his inside foot and attacking the space before getting into his halo stance and forcing the turnover off James Harden's face. Again, James is setting up for an ISO, and we see him hustle slide into the halo stance. Take the offensive foul push up from Harden straight in the chest, he then forces a pick up and kick, and then just never gives up, taking beautiful penultimate steps here and leaping in for this block. What an amazing defensive play. The next key defensive skill is known as full cross steps or turn and run. This occurs if the hustle slide is unable to prevent a drive. The big key is the ability to disassociate your lower body from the upper body. The turn and run requires the lower body to be running downhill, basically forwards, whilst the upper body is facing the offensive player in the halo start. Here we see Dort try to hustle slide, but Harden is able to continue his drive past him, so Dort transitions to the turn and run. Note that his hips turn so he is sprinting downhill but his chest remains pointing at Harden. The goal of the turn and run is not to just run with the offensive player but instead be attacking and filling their space just as we did in the hustle slide. Note how Dort is slowly filling the space between him and Harden. He picks a spot on the floor and is essentially running towards this spot. He doesn't allow James into the paint forcing him into a tough floater that he is able to block. I want you to understand that Dort is the initiator of contact in this play which puts him in control of the situation instead of Harden, the offensive player. The turn and run is also useful in situations where space must be recovered quickly, such as in this clip off of a screen. Dort is able to sprint through the gap, and once he gets near Harden, he turns his hips and begins to sprint downhill. This forces James Harden to stop and change direction, and then Dort gets his feet behind him and puts his chest into Harden again, initiating contact first and forcing a kick out. Amazing defense. Let's take a look at this clip where on the turn and run, Dort does not make contact and does not attack Harden's space. 
This puts Harden in control of the play, as Harden makes contact on his second step, known as a veer finish, before scoring with ease. If contact is never initiated and space is never filled up, turning and running is pointless. Pulling the chair is often related to the post, but is a key skill whilst turning and running. James Harden is a great example of a contact initiator and a master of moves such as the bump euro, in which the first step you create contact, bumping the defender away, and then you just step around for the easy finish. James tries this here, and we see the insane pulling of the chair as Dort leans away from the contact. James expects the contact and upon not receiving any loses balance, falling onto his left foot and putting up this terrible off balance shot. Note how even though Dort is out of this play, he never gives up. He loads up and leaps to try and block the putback attempt from Harden. Amazing activity and hustle by Dort. Here we see Dort pick Harden's lane, forcing the deny and then turning and running, avoiding the contact, forcing Harden into a horrible off balance chuck it at the basket. Again, amazing defense. Another underrated skill on defense is the ability to flip your hips to be more ready to hustle slide in a given direction. Dort gets on an island with Harden, and note how he flips his feet, replacing them so his hips are in the direction of Harden's initial fake, and how he flips them back in the other direction as Harden counters, hustling back and forcing a kick out. It is also important during a turn and run, here in transition picking up Conley early and flipping his hips as Conley changes directions to continue the turn and run. The point is that flips allow you to stay in a loaded position, ready to explode rather than having to come up and out of the defensive stance as the offensive player changes directions and get back down. When we think of closeouts, we think of the traditional butt low, hands high, chop your feet as apparently this makes you more ready to play defense or something like that. But in reality, the correct way to close out is something like this, sprinting and performing one, two footwork, similar to getting ready to jump or on a catch and shoot jump shot. This puts Dort in immediate defensive position, ready to go out and get a stop. On this kick out, Dort is out of position and he starts a turn and run, but note how he doesn't go to where Harden is. He goes to where he's going, which forces a kick out. I see a lot of players close out where the offensive player started, rather than the space that they are attacking. This is such a key skill, as if an offensive player has already started a drive, you will never be able to catch up in time, especially if you are as out of the play as Dort is here. But by closing out on the space that they are attacking, you give yourself a fighting chance to get back into the play. The final thing we will discuss about Dort's individual defense is his IQ. Dort is not only a great physical defender, but he also thinks the game well. Here we see Harden cutting out after a kick out. This is a great time to help out on drives or get a quick double, as the offensive player is not exactly a threat until they are catch ready on the perimeter, which Harden is clearly not. Dort goes for a quick double team whilst he can, nearly forcing a turnover. Except he's in the NBA and NBA players do insane stuff like this sometimes. Pick and roll as we know is the most common play in basketball, and here we see Dort single handedly guard this pick and roll. He switches high to contain the Jeff Green drive and prevent an easy three. He then holds Green in position until Gallinari can get over the screen. He showcases a beautiful 1-2 closeout, flipping his hips, ready to hustle slide and being highly active forcing Harden into a tough contested step back. Dort is elite at using hustle slides to get through any gap left by the offense in pick and roll. Here just squeezing through and containing Donovan well, with the well executed turn and run and his halo stance, forcing Donovan into the miss. A stunt occurs when you are one pass away on the strong side. Here we see Dort quickly stunt and swipe at the ball, forcing Gordon to pick it up before he recovers on Harden. Beautiful stunt. Here he fails on a gamble, before recovering and stunting at house, turning and running into his path quickly. This is a great stunt as it forces a kick out rather than house driving all the way and being able to finish at the rim versus Noel or make an easy dump off to Tucker. Dort hustles hard in transition in this clip starting in the corner and getting all the way back down court to get in front and force the miss. And same thing in this clip, he picks up Harden, forcing the ball out of his hands, and then somehow manages to sprint and contest, forcing Macklemore to adjust in the air, which results in the miss. Of course, no player is immune to making mistakes, so let's take a look at one common one Dort makes. Now, I'm not exactly an OKC coach, so perhaps there is a reason for this, but as a general rule, it is never a good idea to help from the strong side corner. 
Here Dort comes over to help, even though two other Oklahoma City players are waiting and ready after Gallinari already made it an incredibly tough layup. From what would have been a miss, or very good defense, turns into a wide open corner three. Lou Dort is a fantastic defender, with the intangibles of size and length and the skill to move correctly on defense, allowing him to get stop after stop, forcing offensive players into tough shots and wearing them out over the course of a game. As he adds more skill on the offensive end, becoming a better three-point shooter and improving his ability to drive and finish at the room, we are looking at a very valuable player in the future. Teams need players to fill roles, and Dort can fill the role of being an amazing 3 and D player, but I think a little bit more than that. Someone who's a leader on the defensive end who can organize like Draymond, but also can space the floor unlike Draymond as a solid three-point shooter. If you are interested in hearing about another player who has a very bright future in the NBA, check out my breakdown on Lamelo Ball. If you enjoyed this one, I know you'll love that one. Thank you for watching my video. I hope to see you guys soon.